Hello everyone, paddle sup or stand up paddle is pretty fun in many ways and it's something that I enjoy doing quite a lot. There is one thing though with the whole activity that I don't really enjoy that much and that is to pump up the board. One might argue that it's good exercise and it's just something you have to live with but that's not entirely true because you, you could buy a pump specifically for that however some of those pumps are pretty expensive so when i found this pump from the brand mistral in my local Lidl store for only around five, 50 dollars i was pretty excited and decided to pick it up so let's just have a check on it and see what we've got before we try it out. So first thing that I see about it is that everything seems to come in one unit and it's pretty nicely built. There's some extra parts and you connect it into your car battery or into your car outlet. So pretty nice unit. Have, have some small rubber feet and it could lay there. This pump has a max operating pressure of 20 psi. That should be plenty enough. Besides that, it includes three plastic adapters, cable and a 12 volts outlet. Did I miss something? I don't think so. It's supposed to be able to pump up 350 liters of air every minute. So does that mean it should take around a minute to pump up a board? I'm not sure how you would consider it. It depends on how much air your board contains. However, we are gonna try it to pump so we will see exactly how long it will take to pump up a board. Uh, <clears throat> one thing I like so far with uh, this pump is the brand. It's Mist the brand is Mistral and Mistral is making boards uh, so I kind of imagine that it's actually I, I imagine myself that it should be pretty good or at least it should do the job satisfy with satisfaction so <clears throat> so let's find out if that's the case with this pump let's go outside and see how it actually works well that didn't work out very well first of all um, when I turn on the car uh, the pump died and secondly this one uh, which is the host that connects the board it, it broke when it was in in the board so uh, so we're back here we tried out this pump and it was huge disappointment one part broke out of two plastic things that sticks up uh, but I still managed to get it into the holder and get the pump going and the first thing that happened was that it uh, when I started the car it blew the fuse so I had to use another 12 volt outlet that I have in my car and when I was running it it was leaking air because this one was broken so I need to sit there and hold it down all the way doing that it took about 15 minutes to fill up the board which I guess is acceptable anyway um, when it was blown up and when it was up to the right PSI I decided to unhook this turning it and what happens then it that it breaks completely and all the air just blows out because of that my test was totally unsuccessful it was not good at all and this is gonna be returned it uh, didn't do the job at all and it broke the first time I used it so um, is there any longevity in this one or was it just my example just being like basically shit to be honest um, well boring video but sometimes these things happens um, don't blame Lidl for it uh, generally Lidl has been super cool uh, with returns and stuff like that so I don't have every doubt, any doubt that they're gonna take this in return and give me the money back if that's what I want and that is what I'm considering to do now rather than just um, get another example because well 
if it breaks this easily just after one try how would it last for like years of use probably not if you want to see more product reviews click here to see a playlist like that and click here to subscribe thanks for watching and i see you later